are so much more than what we consist of. I wrote this for anyone who has given up the fight against the assimilation of dullness. I googled, why does my heart beat? And I got the answer, the atria and the ventricles work together to push blood through your heart. However, I disagree. This is perhaps the purpose of my heart beating or how my heart beats, but it does not satisfy my question of why my heart beats. See, I learned something very important when I was eight years old at the back of a Calvin and Hobbes comic. I can take all of my understandings of the world and its functions and the seemingly randomness of the universe and pinpoint one specific moment in my life where I started to understand. It's like, kind of understand. <laughs> I was sitting there in my brother's room, his latest Calvin and Hobbes comic placed in my lap, and I was flipping through the pages, and I stopped at one. Showed Calvin standing there looking up at the stars, and he was shouting. I took my chubby eight-year-old finger and I traced the words. One by one, they spelt out for me, I am significant, scream the speck of dust. It was in this moment where I started to ask myself the difference between what I consist of and what I am a host of, how I'm alive and why I'm alive, what I'm made of and what I'm made for. Stars have died so that I may live. I am made of the same elements as a tiger, and ounce by ounce, my bones are stronger than steel. But that's what I consist of. I am so much more. I am a host to a compilation of brilliant things that was put on this earth to show them off because impulses travel through my nerve network to my brain at a rate of 350 feet per second because I'm estimated to have over 60,000 miles of blood vessels because I have 206 bones in my body. That's how I'm alive. But because it entered, it's etched into the walls of my heart. Because curiosity flows freely through my veins because optimism has sprouted its roots around my ribcage. See, that's why I am alive. So to those of you who have given up your fight against the assimilation of dullness, to those of you who have become sick of the constant repetition of your own beating heart, I ask you this. Why, other than the atria and the ventricles, does your heart beat? Why, other than the sound of your alarm, did you wake up this morning? When was the last time you took a step back, you looked around and you said, Holy shit, this, this is why I'm here. I am urging you, pick up a book, ask a question, pack your bag, and fucking leave, because time is making a fool of you. I consider myself an optimist just because I am an optimist in a pessimistic world. <laughs> and I am urging you, just do something. Um, <laughs> yep. Um, <laughs> repetition of this world, I promise you, you will be intoxicated and exhilarated by the vigor of the unusual. So why does my heart beat? Well, I am too in love with this world and its functions and the seemingly randomness of this universe for it not to. <laughs>